welcome back to my channel i know it has been a while since i last uploaded um actually honestly speaking it's because of like variety like a lot of things first and foremost uh i got new neighbors <laughs> i got new neighbors so the place is always noisy like always always noisy like sometimes i would dress up and do my makeup and like i'm getting ready to record and noise starts i'm not a confrontational person so i just decided not to say anything about it at all just i don't like noise so i've actually been trying to adjust to it and also still at the same time having issues with um not wanting to have an issue with my neighbors like their kids they have to play so I haven't figured out what to do yet about it and I don't have what's it called I don't have a ring light so I'm not able to like record um at night which is something I should look in into I think that might be my next option I'm in a different environment because I'm on babysitting duty for today so I've been wanting to record this for the longest because recently I have been getting like um DMs on my Instagram of people that are coming from Nigeria and they would want like, they are coming to school and they do have like a lot of questions to ask which is understandable and I think for some reason when they Google Uganda anything on YouTube my videos usually pops up so they end up sending me DMs so I just thought based on my experience and everything and that it would be a good idea to like um just let people know what they should know. Uh, or ideas you should have before coming to Uganda. So the first, first, first thing on my list I would say is when you are choosing um, a place, and mind you guys, this is for like university. So if you are coming here to for some reason, maybe your parents are relocating or anything, and you're coming and you are coming here for high school. I don't really know. I don't have any experience in their high school system, so I can't help with that. But for university, I would really recommend that you do a, a lot of research, you do extensive research, and then also try and get someone from that school that you can actually ask questions about the school. Or even you can also get someone that is schooled in Uganda, but not like in the school, so that they can give you a perspective of what they feel about the school. That would help you know if that school is in line with what you want for yourself um so honestly and the reason why i'm telling you to do extensive research is because if you discover that you have more foreigners in that school than the citizens then i would highly recommend you run away from that school like run as far as possible because honestly speaking if that university had a very like high standard or the, the quality of education was very good you would not be seen like um what's it called? you won't be seen like you won't be seen only international students so that's just my advice like always try to gauge like do you have like also a lot of um locals people from that country like in that university and if you can, if, if if they are not and you're just seeing maybe in only international students from different countries um you should be alert this next this next one is have an open mind um i've had a lot of people like a few people i wouldn't say a lot like send me messages on instagram and they would like ask me about like um or what should I come with like uh, food and all that like you just want to eat their food and honestly speaking I feel like it's just waste of money like why are you in another country if you only you're only there to just learn the um the just learn like what you came to like education and then like you leave the other social aspects culture like come to Uganda with an open mind like make sure you learn about the people learn about their cultures learn about um what they they like to do you, you understand like even their food try their food it took me two years to try ugandan food which was like very stupid of me and then like fish and gin is like my favorite thing in this life like honestly speaking and it took me two years after coming to this country to try it so try it like just try it come with an open mind and i, I wrote something that i would want to like read to you guys and I said, come with a mind to learn about the people and culture and not only about education as it will help broaden your mind. So yeah, guys, um, let the next thing on my list is, guys, um, Uganda does A-level, which we don't do in Nigeria. Like it's not composed to do A-level like in Nigeria. So most of us, we just come here with our WAEC or our NEPO. Mostly WAEC, most schools accept WAEC. 
so i would advise that if you are coming here you should have that idea that based on the university that you're applying for there are some universities that you might actually have to do like a bridging program for like a year and then based on what you get my my, my school does that um in, in like for one year you have to do based on like that will be based on the course you want to apply for so you will do that for like a year and then while doing that for a year that would also like ensure that once you, you are able to pass then they can give you the course that you want for mostly that goes for people that are going for medicine engineering nursing dentistry pharmacy like those courses eh? those are the courses majorly that like um those are the courses majorly that like you would have to like um like the most in most in some universities other universities don't do it but in some of the universities that i've had of like they do it so you have to come with that mindset that when you come you might not just start from first year you might actually start from like pre-year kind of something like that and then after you are done with that bridging program and you've passed then you move on to the next level and then because of that um the university system is kind of different from us whereby in nigeria we don't have like we don't have like three year courses we have like four years and, and above um but um i think that also the reason is because of the a level thing because we don't have a level you finish after o level and then you go to the university so i kind of feel like the reason that that is like the way it is is because it kind of helps you to be able to um like in nigeria to transition from like what you haven't done in what you're supposed to be in a level that you haven't done and then you do your course so like courses that are three years in uganda they are four years here courses that are four years in uganda like nursing is four years even though i do i did five years plus because i had to do a bridging program but nothing that is like four years here is like uh, five years back in nigeria and then like courses that will be like six years in uganda which is um oh uh, which would be like five years in uganda which is like medicine that is exclusive of internship will be like six years in nigeria so you should also have that in mind depending on like the course you are going for like you might just do end up doing three years instead of like the four years that you might you, you should have done back back home in nigeria so guys another question that i do get asked a lot here is about food and like people will be like there was someone that said something about oh i'm going to come with bread or something which i was like what do you mean come with bread like we have bread here like please don't insult us so like somebody was like yeah can i come with this i'm going to come like he was like you'll come with like um conflicts and you know those things and i'm like we have all those things here so i don't know like we basically have everything that maybe you would have like like there's rice spaghetti all those things which kind of makes it easier for you to be able to like prepare like if you want to prepare nigerian meal and then we have places that you can actually get nigerian food stuff here so if you want to get nigerian food stuff you can get you can also get it from home it can be cheaper since you're just coming you can just buy them from nigeria so like you might want to maybe buy things like um maybe crayfish we have palm oil here so you don't need to buy palm oil but we have like you can like if you want something like crayfish if you want like a goosey like you want to bring them from home that is what most people do here so like those things you would actually like bring them like those local soup that you know that you wouldn't find here in uganda you can get them from home but then like when you but but things like rice irish you know those major things like they have we have them here in abundance so you don't have to pack the whole food in your house and bring it to uganda like those things are there so you just have to concentrate on just getting like the those other things that, that i spoke about the the local things that you know it to be it might be hard for you to get here um, especially those soups that are usually not very common like maybe it's just known to you in your own like your own tribe or something like that and you know that you won't be able to find it here but we even you can even get a goosey here and other things like so yeah that's something that you should keep in mind if it's food you're covered and then like i said earlier i i would highly suggest and advise that you just be open-minded and try their food who knows you might actually fall in love with it so i did so just try it they don't eat chili so but they sell chili like they don't eat chili like ugandans don't eat chili in their food but you can actually buy them in certain places they are not like as rampant as you would get back home but you have like certain places that sell chili and you can go and get them there and then also depending on the university that you go to um ugandan's education can be quite expensive there are a lot of people that have asked me actually like a lot of like like oh how much do you pay in your school how much is tuition for a certain course especially when you're going for 
courses like nursing, medicine, all those courses that tend to be like expensive. And then as a foreigner, you, you won't feel the same as like a, like a citizen. It's everywhere, like it's a new thing. Like when you're going to any country, you pay more than that's what that citizen is paying. So you should have that in mind that um, you might actually have to pay a lot because there are a lot of people that would ask me questions like, oh, how much, uh, how much is the tuition for this? And I would tell them and they are shocked. I'm like, why are you shocked? So I think because they have this idea in their head that, oh, it's Uganda, it shouldn't be expensive. My idea, it's expensive, but especially knowing that now Nera is crashing, like we all know Nera is crashing, the value of Nera is not what it used to be before. So your parents might have to like actually pay more than they would usually have done maybe like five years, five, six, seven years ago. Um, so that's something that you should also have in mind. Also, I want to advise that if you're coming to Uganda, like I can't stress this enough, make sure you know someone like, I know someone that stood up and actually sent me a message, I think a day or actually he was living that day and the person had sent me a message and the person was like, oh, I'm coming to Uganda and he was attending he was come, going to KIU, Western Campus. And when people hear KIU, it happened to me. So <laughs> I'm not judging, but it happened to me. I first started in KIU, Western Campus. And I remember when I, when you hear Kampala International University, you think, oh, it's in Kampala. My dear, Kampala International University, when you hear, when you see Western Campus, it's not in Kampala. Kampala International University, Western Campus is in the Western part of Uganda. So, you have like once you drop in NTV and then they bring you to Kampala, you have another journey that you have to journey like for like six to seven hours. You should make sure that um, while you are like before you leave, you, you come to Uganda, you know someone, and then when you know that person, like at least they can give you advice. You can even you may even be able to stay with them for a while um, until you know your way around. And then before you get a place because not all universities here in uganda offer like hostels for like hostels in general like depending on the university you are at, like i said it depends on the university but not all universities attend or maybe even the quality of the hall might not be up to standard for you so most mostly what people do here like most people that i know that are from other countries is that when they come they have someone they stay with someone for like maybe a week or so well, they look for a place, they get a place, and then you have that person showing you around. And then it just makes your transitioning easier instead of just standing up and just thinking, oh, I can do this on my own. Like, no man is an island, and you wouldn't want to learn things the hard way um, because pe like, people will cheat you, and they will steal from you. Like Because once they know you're a foreigner, my dear, they will cheat you, and they will steal from you. So this is everywhere, like anywhere, any country you go to, as long as you're a foreigner, someone would want to take advantage of it because they know you don't know how things are done. There was someone that I know that had to pay, that paid 50,000 shillings for Boda Boda Fair from just one place, like a particular place. And he didn't know, and he didn't ask anyone, and he was just moving on his own. And it wasn't even like something, it was something that was 2,000 shillings, like transport fare. And the person ended up paying 50,000 shillings. So please ask, don't be thinking, oh, I can do this on my own. No, you can't. Like, you don't know anything about this place. You don't know anything about the people. You don't know how things work. So it's important you ask and try and get someone. That's just basically what I mean. And then, like, the last advice I would give you is, like, Ugandans are, are hospitable. And they are always willing to be friends if you are also willing to be friends. When, when you say, like, you are nice and you are welcoming, they will also, like, open their arms and be welcoming to you. So, when you are coming, like, try and make friends. Like, one of the best things that a friend of mine told me, I, I don't even think she remembers him saying, like, she told me that was actually where now we actually, like, I met her from Addis Ababa. She was the first friend I had made here. And she told me something that her dad told her, like, her dad told her that I didn't bring you all the way from Nigeria to just come and just stay with Nigerians. Like, you have to broaden your horizon and meet other people from other countries so that you know how things are done in other countries. Like I said, broaden your mind. So, um, try and make friends. Try and make Ugandan friends. Try and make friends from other countries. Don't, don't just come here and just stick to just one. Like like your country oh i only know nigerians and i'm only going to have nigerians as friends even if it's like from whatever country you are coming from if you're watching this video try and make friends from other countries like you have to be careful of course with the kind of friends you make but don't just limit yourself that is yeah i guess that's all so that's all i have let me know in the comments if you're watching this and you're in uganda if i have left anything out please just 
put it down in the comment section so that we can just help people that are coming because i've noticed that a lot of people are really coming into uganda uh, from nigeria recently and i also feel like it's because we've been having strike for months now and we don't even know when the strike is going to end back in nigeria so i feel a lot of parents are trying to look for other options for their children i just felt uh since i wasn't able to get this opportunity let me do this since i've been here for a while uh let me be able to talk talk to you guys about this based on my own experience and that is it for this video, video i can't speak that is it for this video guys let me know what you think don't forget to like and if please you have not subscribed unsubscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye